coming from a successful Jamaican American family, I am proud of my accomplishments thus far. I was born at San Francisco Children's Hospital with cerebral palsy, a neurological condition which affects my abilities to walk and talk. During my childhood and adolescence, I sometimes felt left out of the typical childhood activities that my peers participated in, like basketball. Though I wish I could do everything my non-disabled peers do, I am able to find fulfillment in life through my own activities and endeavors. Ever since the second grade, my dream has been to be a writer. I began writing science fiction stories and poetry in my childhood. It captivated me that I could create stories in my head and then write them down on paper. At school, writing assignments were often a long and laborious process because they took me three times longer than my peers, but that did not stop me from getting them done. In my writing, I use poetry as a vehicle to express my experiences growing up as a man with cerebral palsy. My parents both have successful careers and have helped me to the same expectations, even with my disability. I have also held myself to these same standards, receiving my Bachelor of Arts degree in English from Berkeley and a Master of Fine Arts degree in Creative Writing with an emphasis in poetry from Mills College. Thanks to these educational opportunities, I have honed my skills as a writer and successfully published my first book of poetry, A Declaration of a Body of Love. I am currently working on a novel and plan to further develop my writing career in the years to come. In addition to writing, my main goal right now is to find full-time employment. I am currently an intern at the World Institute on Disability, a nonprofit disability rights organization based in California where I write articles and conduct background research to be included in resource manuals. I also work part-time for Dynavox, a company which manufactures speech-generative devices for people with speech-related disabilities. I give speeches for the company to various organizations and groups of people showcasing how the device is used and am a regular contributor on the company's blog. I recently began another job with United Cerebral Palsy of the Golden Gate as a grant writer to get funding for an AAC training center. However, I am most proud of the work I do as the Vice Chair for the Oakland Mayor's Commission for People with Disabilities. I serve on the advisory board for the city on various disability issues. My advice to others is to never give up on your dreams and if you work hard enough, you will succeed in any task you want to complete.